एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ लेक्चर थ्री एंड इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द स्केल्स एंड द एसोसिएटेड कॉन्सेप्ट विच वॉज प्लेन स्केल now in this part of the video i'll be telling you about the two divisions which are uh, the diagonal scale and the vernier scale welcome to s chand academy if you want to know the detailed description about the topic you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link is there in the description box below so this is the second part uh, of the video we are starting the lecture 3 Uh, the second part if you haven't watched the first part of the video the link is there in the description box so the module that we are covering is module number 1 and in this uh, we are covering here the diagonal and the vernier scale for this part of the video so in order to uh, tell you about the the diagonal scale Uh, i have taken an example which is a live example of google maps and in that situation uh, there is a distance which is mentioned between the two cities as 200 kilometers and the google maps it is represented by a line which is 5 cm you all have seen google maps and it generally indicates uh, distances which would be a smaller distances so this is given that 5 cm uh, is represented on this google map so initially the question asked that find its rf and draw the diagonal scale uh, that represents the kilometers and finally you have to uh, give the uh, scale at a maximum of 600 kilometers and the question says to indicate these distances on the map right so let us start with the question so as the question says that in this particular situation uh, the distance between the two cities is mentioned 200 kilometers and the google map the line is represented as 5 cm rf has the formula and that formula is distance on the drawing to the distance which is actually there so distance on the drawing is 5 cm and this is 200 kilometers so conversion or converting it into the similar formulas or similar units will get the value as 1 over this number and then the ultimate thing is to calculate the length of the scale which is rf multiplied by this value which is given 600 km so i have converted this kilometer part into centimeters because i want to indicate it in, into centimeter situation so one upon the similar value multiplied by 600 into 10 to the power 5 which is there in centimeters so i'll get the value as 15 centimeters so likewise we what we did in the previous video in the similar manner in the similar situation we'll be proceeding in order to pro uh, in order to make the uh, map associated with it the first step in the situation is to make a line which is 15 cm long so here i would be making a line which is 15 cm long so this is a line that is 15 cm long i have prepared it and then divide it into six equal parts like we did in the previous case so i have divided it into six equal parts so here you can see from 0 to 500 it represents the distance which is in kilometers so 0 to 500 is the 500 km distance and this part would be here for division aspect so we'll divide this into number of parts so that this two decimal places can be read so 222 i want to read so i want to use the diagonal scale for this moving ahead we would be dividing this part into 10 equal divisions so this 0 to 100 is divided into 10 equal parts every part indicates 10 divisions so every part indicates the 10 km part so 0 after 0 it would be 10 km then 20 30 40 and so on so this is being divided in a similar fashion in order to indicate the other digit i need to divide this vertical line into 10 equal divisions you can take any 10 equal divisions and divide this into 10 equal parts now the next step says or the next step is to 
uh, represent a map. So in order to represent the map, just play, uh, just make a border around the same division, and this border would indicate that this is uh, this would appear as a scale there, right? Then finally, what you need to do, you would divide this tenth divide this ninth division so ninth division with the tenth division of the above part so join this with the tenth division similarly join the ninth eighth division with the ninth part and similarly so on you will divide this in the vertical fashion and then draw the parallel lines from all these uh, divisions in order that it would appear as a uh, the segment of the same now the other aspect is how do we indicate the distances let's say if i want to indicate the distance of 222 kilometers so how can i do that see this is 0 this is 200 so 0 to 200 is the 200 value and for indicating this 22 i have this 20 and i have this 2 from there this scale so this is 20 here and 2 is here so this red mark indicates that red dot indicates 222 so this is the measurement or this is the section that would be indicated as a part of 222 value similarly for 336 for 336 how do i indicate it so from 0 to 300 i have the value which is 300 and for indicating 36 i have the division which is 30 and here it is 6 so red mark indicates the 36 part so 36 plus 300 which would be 336 similar for the other heads so this scale is helpful in reading the parts or reading the dimensions which are up to two decimal places now coming to the next aspect of the similar concept which is reading the two dimensions so the concept lies in the construction of the vernier scale so the i'll tell you the concept with the help of an example so the question says that you need to draw the vernier scale you need to draw the vernier scale with rf as 1 over 25 so i have this rf value already given to me and this rf will read the centimeter scale up to 4 centimeters right and I want to show the lengths as 2.39 and 0.91 on the vernier scale. So I want to show the uh, lengths there on the vernier scale. So how can I proceed? Initially, what is given to me is the RF value. So RF value is 1 over 25. So I need to calculate the length of the scale from there. So length of the scale is RF multiplied by the maximum distance. I have told you the formula. So 1 by 25 multiplied by the maximum distance given to me was what value was 4 meters. So in order to convert it into centimeters, I have multiplied it with 100. So the overall value that means the length of the scale is 16 centimeters. Coming to the next part, which is the construction of the scale, what is to be done here? So here, as you have calculated the value, which is 16 centimeter, so I would be dividing the 16 centimeter into four equal parts because I have this um, 16 value. So 16 divided by four will give me the four equal parts. So here from zero, I'll have the dimension as three So zero to three. I'll have the uh, meter scale and this part would be the other half of the scale that we have done so far. So I will be dividing it into 10 equal divisions. So I have divided it into 10 equal divisions. Now vernier scale consists of two different divisions. One is the main scale and another one would be the vernier scale. So this part we have constructed the main scale. Now the second step is to construct the vernier scale. So in order to construct the vernier scale, what I'll do, I'll use this block and divide this block into 11 equal parts. So this was 10 equal parts. I'll divide it into 11 equal parts. So if it is 11 equal parts, this would indicate the values as 0 0.11, 0 0.33, 0 0.55. So mainly 11 divisions or 11, uh, 11 values would be the uh, case of a difference. So this would be the construction of the vernier scale there. 
so this indicates yeah each division will show 0.11 meters or 1.1 decimeters or 11 centimeters and so on now this we have constructed the vernier scale now how do we indicate the distances let us show you in with the help of an example here the question was demanding to represent a distance of 2.39 as we have the divisions of 0.11 so i need to uh, subtract that divisional value from this number so 2.39 is the number and i will be subtracting the divisional value which is 0.99 and I will get the value as 1.4. So what is it? From 0 to 1.4, the distance I would be indicating. So from 0 to 1.4, this distance is indicating indicated. Then I will add the 0.99 or 0.9 part into it. So from 0 to 0.99, I'll be adding here. So this one is 0 0.99. So I'll be adding uh, 1.5 and 0 0.99. I'll get the value as 2.39. So in total, you will get this overall aspect as 2.39. Similarly, for the value which is 0 0.91, I need to subtract 0 0.11 value because the scale is of 11 divisions. So 0 0.91 minus 0 0.11 that will give me the value as 0 0.80. So here I will be representing 0 0.80, 0 to 0 0.8 which is this part and I will be adding 0 0.1 to it. So I will get the value as 0 0.91. So this is the value which is 0 0.91. So this is the concept of the vernier scale. If you want to know the detailed description about the topic, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, uh, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.